Okay folks, it's James Austin of C at 3D. Let's double click on the SketchUp 2017 startup icon. Comes up with the SketchUp license agreement. Um, you can read it all. I'm just going to click agree and continue. There is no default SketchUp uh, template set up here at the moment. I'm going to click on choose template. Um, and I'm going to go for the standard one that we would use in the UK uh, in 3D first and then we will show you how to customize it later on. Architectural design millimeters, so I'm going to left click it. I always have this always show on startup uh, for the welcome screen every time I launch SketchUp. Um, so I can choose my templates, have a look at the license situation and obviously any learn uh, adverts, anything that comes up from Trimble themselves. It's always good to have this present. Let's click on start using SketchUp. Okay, so once we launch uh, SketchUp, we are presented with our desktop and uh, we have uh, Christie's on there standing at the axis we have uh, the standard pull down menus I have already got an extension or two in there so uh, when you install SketchUp for the first time you won't have this extensions pull down menu uh, we have one toolbar along the top just uh, I'm going to move this over my cursor until I'm on to the, the dots there you see the move icon appearing on the cursor just going to hold the left button down and drag this down onto the drawing area. This toolbar here is the standard one called uh, Getting Started. I'm just going to hold the left button down on it, drag up to the underside of the pull down menus just to leave it there for now. And one thing you notice over on the right hand side is the default tray. Now, the default tray has different dialogues in here. Uh, if you click on the arrow, uh, it's pointed down here. This is opened at the moment. It's in its open state um, It's expanded. If I click on the arrow, it will collapse it I can click on it again to expand it. So those Dialogues you see inside this single tray can be expanded and collapsed um, Up at the top on the right hand side, we have this auto hide pin uh, at the moment, when I move my mouse into the drawing screen, this is permanently docked and it's in the open lock position. If I go over and click on the auto hide, it minimizes it down into this default tray. And also, if I hover my mouse over the default tray tab, the default tray flies out. Uh, for the purposes of this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to click on the auto hide um, and then keep this opened so at the moment um, how does this tray work well when we're working in SketchUp we access different dialogues as expected good thing about it is that it's all bunched together in Windows now if I move my mouse up to the title of this default tray I can hold the left button down and I can drag this down into the drawing screen if I release, I can resize it. So over at the right side, you see the resize arrows. I'm going to hold the left button, drag to the right, go to the top, hold the left button, drag down. So we're resizing this tray. Now, as we drag it around, you will also see we have these position icons on the screen. And when I move my mouse around them, you see there is a shadow showing the extent of the tray if it is chosen to be docked, for example, on the left here, I'm just going to let go of the left button and it's docked over to the left. I'm going to go back over there and hold the left button and drag it over again. Let's resize it from the right hand side just to make it as narrow as we can. And when we drag it narrower, we see some of these trays have scroll bars in them. I'm going to double click on the tray title takes it over to the last dock position. I'm going to press drag it over to the right hand side. This is my preferred area where I dock my tray. 
Now, if I want to add in some more, because there are some dialogues that are missing here, um, we can right click on the tray title and we have Manage Trays. Or we can go to the window pull down, we have Manage Trays here. Same, but in an alternative position. I'm going to click on this default tray and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it Organization. Click Rename. And I'm going to choose certain dialogues that I want in that organization tray. Um, I'm going to turn off shadows, uh, bring on in the outliner, turn off materials. So I've got entity info. Components, styles, layers, scenes, instructor, and outliner. I'm going to add a new tray. Click on new. Materials. Click on the materials dialog. Click add. Then I'll add a final new tray. Presentation. Let's go for shadows, fog, match photo, softer edges, and add. So we now have three trays that I've customized to my choice. You can, you know, choose what uh, pairs of dialogues that you would like per tray, uh, or just use the one. Um, if I click close here, you'll see down at the bottom we have the tabs. Now, if I want to reposition the tabs, I can hold the left button down and drag over to the right hand side this materials tab. It's very useful. If I want to detach them all, I can hold the left button on lights of organization and drag this into here. I can do the same with presentation. And I can drag off materials. So they're all floating in the drawing area. Um, it's your choice whether you want to work with this and have them on a secondary screen. I'm just going to double left click on materials to dock it. I'm going to hold the left button down on presentation and one position icon that's really useful is this one in the middle here where my cursor is right on the top. We have three tabs. If I move my mouse on here you see the shadowing if I move it to the left, you'll see the shadow to the left of the materials. Similarly, at the top, at the bottom, at the right, I choose the tab option, release the left button, and there it is, down at the bottom. I'll do the same with the organization. Drag over, holding the left button down, move my cursor onto the tab, and release. It's as simple as that. Then I'll finally reorganize the tab positions. Organization to the left, materials to the right. I'm going to go into organization. I'm going to click to collapse the outliner. And I'm going to reposition those uh, dialogues in the manner that we always use for training our clients. We have entity info at the top. We then have the outliner above uh, just underneath Entity Info and above Components. We then press drag the layers up underneath the Outliner. And then we have it set as so. So Entity Info, Outliner, Layers, Components, Styles, Scenes, and not forgetting the Instructor. On the Presentation tab, I'm just going to collapse the dialogues in here. We press drag fog at the top. We then press drag match photo underneath. We have then shadows and soften edges. And then finally we have the materials tab. Uh, I'm just going to move my cursor down to resize this to make it larger. Holding the left button on this marker where you see this line appearing. Press drag it down and it expands to show a bit more space in there. So. On the organization palette, for example, the components uh, library dialog, we can expand this one down here as well. Um, 
we have at the top here a plus, which is going to allow us to bring on the secondary selection pane. We click that. So you notice that we can expand this down here as well. And if we drag this down beyond the bottom edge, it then reveals a scroll bar that we can drag up and down. So it's quite useful there. Or we can roll the wheel up and down as well. So if I had my layer manager opened up, I can scroll the wheel up and down to access the, the dialog that I wish to use. So I'm just going to um, expand these to collapse these. Very useful, easy to manage. So let's right click, we see that we've got those trays visible. Going over to the window pull down, we can see on the flyout what trays are visible on our drawing. Now, one of the things that we usually talk about is the styles, because styles can not only just be organization, they can be presentation. So if I wanted to switch my styles from organization to presentation, I can go to presentation here and go down and click on styles. And there styles appears in the presentation palette or the, in this case, it's a tray or we click on the organization and you see that we can bring this back. Um, we can go back to the window pull down. We can go to organization and click on the styles to bring it back. Uh, I, I click to collapse and then I press drag this to put it in the appropriate position. From the window pull down, we have these options where we can hide, rename and delete. Uh, we can also manage tray and we can add in new trays. So hopefully that is uh, useful information for you. Um, and thanks for watching.